and in between are on the path from combustion engines to electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids offer the best of both worlds. You get zero emissions driving, all electric power, and you miss out on the range anxiety. One of the newest PHEVs on the market, the 2018 Hyundai Ioniq plug-in blends inoffensive looks with usable electric range and healthy fuel economy under gas power. How does it look? Like the standard Ionic, the plug-in looks like your typical compact hatch, offering a more conservative look than some of its rivals. Electrification shouldn't define how a vehicle looks, and the handsome, mellow Ionic style is proof of that. How's the storage? In back, there's 23 cubic feet of cargo space, the rear hatch opens nice and tall, and if you buy the plug-in, you get this super neat carrying case for the cord. A reasonably sized center console, adequate door pockets, and a change tray that doubles as a wireless charger mean there's plenty of spots for your stuff. That change tray is good too, holding the phone in place even on bumpy or twisty roads. Is it roomy? Front seat space is abundant, even for drivers over six feet. Legroom is good, and headroom feels plentiful. The second row isn't as nice, with a tighter roof and less than 36 inches of legroom. How does the interior feel? Like the exterior, the Ionix cabin is conservative by design. It's not obvious from behind the wheel that you're driving a plug-in hybrid. But the place feels well built. These plastics are really nice, and there's not really anything in here that offends. Is it well equipped? The Ionix plug-in comes standard with dual zone climate control, heated front seats, and push button start. Our limited trim tester adds blind spot monitoring, leather seats, a power driver seat, and a seven inch instrument cluster display. Our tester also added the $3,750 Ultimate package, which introduces a host of active safety systems, HID headlights, an eight inch touchscreen with navigation, an infinity audio system, and Hyundai's Blue Link telematic suite. How's the infotainment system? Hyundai's infotainment system and the standard 7-inch touchscreen are nice to look at and easy to figure out. In the Ionic plug-in, there's plenty of information related to the battery performance, including a maximum range estimate, allowing drivers to exploit the 8.9 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard. Is it a good daily driver? The Ionic is a fantastic daily driver. Aside from the fact that you don't need to use gasoline if your commute isn't too long, it's comfortable and composed, even on a bumpier road. The seating position is great, and the seats themselves offer plenty of support and are quite nice to spend a boring commute in. And it's not that loud. Silent electric motor. It's not a bad way to go. Is it fun to drive? Unless you're one of the sorts of people that likes to squeeze the maximum amount of power out of the battery packs, driving the Ionic is not very much fun. This is a plug-in hybrid. It's designed for fuel efficiency and commuting comfort. That means it doesn't handle that well. It's not terribly quick. If you get on the gas too hard, even in EV mode, the gas engine is gonna kick in and try and back you up. And once you do that, you get a whole 139 horsepower which is not a lot. The transmission is relaxed in its behavior, and while there is a sport mode, if you use it, you're kind of missing the point of the Ionic. How's the fuel economy? When it arrived, the range estimate on our Ionic sat at nearly 600 miles with its fully charged battery. It returns an EPA estimated 52 mpg on the highway and up to 119 mpge. The battery pack allowed 29 miles of all-electric range in our test and took around seven hours of charge on a standard wall plug. 
faster than the 8.5 hours Hyundai cites for a 120 volt outlet. How much is it? The Ionic plug-in starts at 24,950, while the limited wear testing rings up at 28,300. The $3,750 Ultimate package brings the total of our test car to $33,060. Regardless of trim, the Ionic plug-in is eligible for a federal income tax credit of $4,543. What are the negatives? For drivers that are looking to be green, the Ionic plug-in is great. But for people that want the world to know that they're green, its conservative styling might not work. And it goes without saying, but for drivers that have a heavy foot, this plug-in electric hybrid might not cut it. Who should buy it? Like its rivals, the Ionic plug-in is a fine choice for customers that want to transition to an electric lifestyle, but aren't willing to give up the gasoline security blanket just yet. Its conservative styling is great for customers that don't want to shout about their green credentials, and its affordable price is good for customers that are looking to get those credentials on the cheap.